Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. For this today's video, the beer's courtesy of Ty. Thanks so much, Ty, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's from Evergreen, and it's Clear the Passage Double IPA. Very cool and kind of trippy can art. I love it. Uh, like I said, it's a double IPA, 8.2% ABV. Uh, they're from Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, 8.2% ABV. Uh, the brewery was established in 2016. And I forgot I had this uh, breweries of Pen or breweries in Pennsylvania glass. So I'm like, hey, that'll be an appropriate glass. And uh, my friends got me some uh, Mandalorian coasters. So breaking them out for this review. And uh, save some for the Instagram picture. That's a beautiful looking beer. I am definitely uh, also just, so everyone's understanding, I am fully wanting a double IPA right now. So I'm totally in the mood for this beer. Uh, nice orange into maybe even like burnt orange color, a little bit of yellow on the sides, very hazy, uh, more like approaching turkey, gravy, you know, butternut squash soup kind of a thing. Almost exactly one finger. Uh, it's an off-white head, uh, tiny bubbles, small bubbles. Uh, like you started with white and then added a little bit of like orange, which makes sense. Uh, but yeah, it definitely looks like New England style double IPA. It looks beautiful. Let's get the aroma. It good fruit notes. Man. And then a little dank vegetal as well. So like it's got the fruity stuff you want when you see a beer like this that's labeled double IPA. And then it's got like, you know, so we got that fruity stuff, but it's also got that beer stuff. So I really like how this is smelling. Orange, peach, some apricots, like pitted fruits for sure. But then some nice citrus, mostly orange. Like a little like watermelon. But then it goes tropical. Like, I, I can't tell if I get a little bit of a berry or watermelon. But anyway, then it goes pretty tropical. Um, not pineapple, but like papaya, passion fruit, guava. Like, I can sell that stuff. It smells fantastic. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Ty. Hope you're doing well. That's nice. That's nice. That, okay. So I'm glad that I mentioned those... Um, Tropical fruits, wow. Uh, yeah, papaya, guava, passion fruit, big on those. Do get some orange. Um, that like Whatever I'm trying to figure out, this watermelon or berry thing, I'm not getting much of that. It is uh, a somewhat citrusy and then very tropical. And those, I mean, guava and papaya, for me, big on this one. Good level of bitterness, nice mouthfeel. Um, I'm going to go in for another sip, see anything else I can get, but definitely looking for how I got that like dank herbaceous thing in the aroma. Man, it, it is very, now that I've tried it and I'm smelling it more. Yeah, guava, guava is a big one. And I don't know if I've ever said, like I've said guava in beer, re beer reviews before. I've done a lot at this point. So maybe I shouldn't say I don't think I've ever. But I don't remember ever saying guava is the dominant thing I'm smelling. But definitely is the, is the dominant. Yeah, because it starts tropical smoothie. But then when the bitterness comes in, then the fruit moves away from like smoothie, super ripe into unripened versions of those. Um, so still fruity, but just not like the juicy kind of a thing, which is typical when bitterness kicks in, at least for me in a beer like this. And like, yeah, just a little bit of sticky dank, not a ton, not a ton. Like for people who really like juicy IPA, double IPAs, this will definitely be in your wheelhouse. Um, and then, and you know what? I, I feel like I'm saying this a lot in reviews of beers like this, where I'm like, good level of bitterness. Um, either more breweries are or, 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 uh, leaning into IPAs having bitterness, 
or I'm just noticing it more. Maybe it's a me thing. Um, but like, it's got like that juice bomb thing, but then when the bitterness kicks in, it's, you know, the unripened fruit, but it's still there, I, which I really like. I guess as I'm explaining it, I'm realizing I, I don't seem to be making a value claim on it. Um, I really like that. I like beers, you know, like this to have some bitterness to it. So that's like a plus for me. Some mango. And then, yeah, a little bit of dank sticky. This. Yeah, this is really good. Um, I'm really excited too because uh, Chris had reached out to me. He's like, do one of those evergreen evergreen beers. I probably had that the wrong way the whole time. Um, because he wants to go to the brewery soon or he's thinking about it. So by the time I post this, I'll, I will have privately texted Chris like, I'm all in. You know, definitely go to evergreen. Anyway, uh, that's for one very specific person who will probably be watching this review anyway. And we already have gotten the text from me. But anyway, Ty, thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. this beer. is delicious. Um, have you guys had this beer before? I don't know what the, the hop or hop combination. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description box below. Um, any, uh, any information from the brewery I find, I'll put in the uh, description box below. But anyway, thanks again, Ty. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys had this beer before, have you had a nice double IPA lately? You want to tell me about anything, everything? Comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both of those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.